Hello guys, Game Boy Hub here. And in today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to migrate your entire Windows operating system as well as all of the files you have on your current install over to a new drive. So this guide will be useful to you if you are upgrading an older hard drive over to an SSD or if you just want to upgrade the size of your drive. So for example, if you're running a 120 gig drive right now and you want to upgrade to a one terabyte drive, I'll show you how to transfer your current current operating system over to the new drive without doing a clean install and wiping everything off. So I'm going to be upgrading from a spinning hard drive over to an SSD and you can see how slow the Windows boot time is with the current spinning hard drive. If you guys enjoyed this guide be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this one and let's get started with the video. Step one is of course to install the new drive into your PC. Now you have a couple of different options here. If you are upgrading from a spinning SATA drive over to a new SATA SSD, you will need to open up your PC, get a SATA cable that looks like this and find an available slot on your motherboard and just plug one end of the cable into the motherboard and plug the other end of the SATA data cable into your SSD. You will also need a power cable which you can find over on your power supply. So just find a cable that fits and plug it in to the SSD. Now this type of SSD doesn't actually need to be mounted anywhere because it has no moving parts inside. So it is absolutely fine just hanging on like this. If your case has a mount for it, I do recommend mounting it for some better looks. Now if you want to upgrade from a SATA SSD to an M.2 SSD or even from a hard drive to an M.2 SSD, just Google the name of your motherboard followed by M.2 drive slot and find where that is. Not all motherboards support the M.2 interface, so definitely be careful with that. And lastly, if you're using a laptop computer with only one drive slot, or if you only have one singular SATA cable and can't plug in another drive directly into your PC, you can buy a USB to SATA cable that looks something like this and just plug your drive in via USB. And then later you can take out the old drive and replace it with the new drive and just boot from the new drive. Now that we got all of the hardware covered, let's jump over to the software. And in order to copy all of our data to our new drive, I will be using EaseUs Disk Copy. This is an amazing disk copying software that runs on all Windows versions from Windows 11 all the way down to Windows 7. They also offer a free trial and this is just the easiest software to use in my opinion. So I'll be using this software. This video is also sponsored by them, so definitely check them out in the link below. Simply click on the free trial and download and set up the software and the interface should look something like this. Also, I'm sorry for the lower quality of the screen recording, but this is a pretty low-end computer that I'm doing this on, so this is the best I could get. Next thing you want to do is right-click on the Start button and go to Disk Management, and you should see the disk that you plugged into your computer. Select the disk and format it using the NTFS file format, and after it is formatted, you should be good to go. You want to go back to the Ease Us disk copy and you should see the two of your drives available. If you have more drives you will of course see them but just identify the drives that you want to copy. First you need to select a source disk which is your old drive, for me it is disk 0, and then select the target disk which for me is disk 1. Make sure that you have selected everything correctly and click proceed and on this prompt just click continue. And the process will simply start and all of your data will be copied over to the new disk. So just sit back and relax and wait for this to finish. It should be done in no time. And once that process is finished, you are done. So now you can check that the drive looks the same as your old one and you can see that it does. So the only thing that we have left to do is restart the computer, go into our BIOS and simply select the new drive as our boot drive. For me, I didn't see it the first time after the copy and I actually needed to unplug the old drive for it to be recognized, but you should see it right away. Select that drive as the boot drive and simply watch your computer boot from the SSD. You can check that all of your data has 
has moved, but if you are booted into Windows, everything should be fine. And yeah, that process was very easy and it sped up our computer quite a bit. Also, now if you want to format the old drive, you can definitely do that under Disk Management and just use the old drive for storage. And yeah, thank you guys so much for watching this video. Thank you again to Isas Disk Copy for sponsoring this video. If you guys enjoyed it, be sure to leave a like and subscribe for more videos like this one. Also, please check out my Twitter and Instagram, and I will see you guys in the next video.